was just another Saturday. Everyone was just going about their day-to-day -day lives. I went to the airport, dropped my daughter off, gave her a hug and said goodbye. Then drove to Zippy's to pick up 24 sausage sandwiches for a board meeting. It was in Zippy's that I heard something was going on. But all the women at the counter were kind of chattering at each other. And I heard someone mentioning bomb. And I thought, oh, somebody's phoned in a bomb threat to Zippy's. All right, thank, you. thank you so much. You too. Just as I was leaving, somebody had said missile. What happened? Holy crap. Did something happen? Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. Did you guys get that? Holy shit. Oh my god. What do we do? You know how I called you when that was all happening, or you called me? I'm like, re not reenacting it, but like kind of just like showing them a play-by-play. -play. Yeah, I'm, I'm being a poser right now. Yeah, but here, I'm gonna hang up and then I'm gonna call you back and pretend to like talk about it, okay? So don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> oh, geez. Did you just get what I just got on my phone? I don't know what to do. This is crazy. <laughs> There's absolutely no way this is real. Oh my, people are running? That was when everyone realized it wasn't just their phone or just like some little prank happening. It was like, Everyone was getting this. I just saw a group of people running down the street crying, and they all had their phones up to their head. So everybody got, that has a phone got the message. I hope the fucking military has their shit together and they can blow this thing out of the sky if it's really coming in, man. If it's a missile, it's hitting everything. Right. And if it's like part of the police department, they not as good. Oh, man. This ain't no joke. I'm praying. I'm scared at the same time. I know. Time. I, I, I know. We gonna be blowing the smithereens around this bitch. <laughs> you don't know. Did y'all call your mama yet? No. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. If you are indoors, stay indoors. What are we going to do? Driving, I don't know. I don't even know if this is real. Yeah. And now there is a siren. No idea what that is supposed to mean. We'll be okay, honey. Please report to the lobby to receive direction to the basement. I ain't never got a message like this. Seek immediate shelter? What shelter are you gonna take, man? These missiles are from the Lord's army. This is the year of prophecy, man. This is it. There's nowhere you could go. All the dangers of Hawaii, you don't want to be outside. So you need to figure out how you're going to bunker down. The first house I go to, a gentleman comes out. And I was like, is there any way I could come in and like wait it out with you? And he's like, yeah, you can come in, but you have to leave the dog outside. And I was like, I'm not going to leave my dog outside if there's an incoming missile. Like, that's basically my family. Come on, girl. We gotta go. How could he not let us in? Where am I supposed to go? Am I even gonna be able to get to my house in time? It's already 15 minutes in. If it's not already here, it's on its way. I'm starting to do the math in my head and figuring I'm maybe about 15, 20 minutes away from home where I'm at. I'm about 10 minutes away from the airport where my oldest daughter's at. I'm 15 minutes away from my wife's office is, and there's nobody I can really get to in the time period that I have before something happens, if something's happening, which I'm still not convinced is happening. What really triggered me was these SUVs flying down the highway behind me. There's something happening. 
I know I had a class in these bunkers, like these World War II uh, military bunkers that are safe from like different bombs and stuff. Let, as soon as I hang up with you, I'll look it up on the map. I, my mom just came in. I gotta call you back. I would call your parents for sure. Okay. Love you too. Honey, I want you to get in the closet, okay? Wait, where is dad? Why is he still not up here? My head was really spinning at this point. None of the news stations had anything. I just kept on scanning stations. I was just waiting for something to happen. And it wasn't the all clear I was waiting for. It was literally, I, I was just clinching, waiting for an explosion to happen behind me. Kind of pondering this, where can I go? Where should I go? I don't want to run towards the airport. I think the bombs are most likely going to Pearl Harbor, which is right next to the airport. I did kind of write off my oldest daughter. I wanted to go to the place with the largest chance of being successful. Um, not even to my wife, who, although I love dearly, I, I expected her to be an adult that could get back home if she needed to, and that my two youngest would be the most vulnerable. So I text my oldest daughter, I said, I, I have to go home to the girls and that I love you. Karina, I don't know what's happening. I just got a text on my phone that says there's a missile coming into Hawaii. It happened like 20 minutes ago. I don't, I don't know if it's actually coming or not, but I'm taking it very seriously. I just want you to know that I love you and I care about you. And I am so sad that I'm on this island alone. I was hopeful that it would maybe miss. Maybe they didn't have the science to, you know, we're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, just these tiny little islands in a huge ocean. You know, what are the odds it actually hits here? Do you think they're gonna tell us when this is all over? I don't know. Dad'll be up in a minute. He's gonna, he doesn't seem as worried. She was looking at me and I was looking at her and it was kind of like, we could be looking at each other one minute and then not the next. I was just manic. Choosing between family members, choosing between uh, life and death. Uh, it was definitely a first. Some people were hunkered down in their stairwells of their apartment buildings. Some people were hiding under their houses. There was a guy shoving his kids into a storm drain. So just to be clear, sir, then the governor seems to be explaining that this was not some kind of hack. This was actually a human error of some kind. Exactly. He said it was a mistake made during a standard procedure at the changeover of a shift and an employee pushed the wrong button. That is exactly... was happening you know like it was just a normal Saturday and people were just walking down the street I started just bawling it was one of those cries that you just really didn't want anybody to see you doing but I was doing it anyways and I was just kind of in I was just kind of numb I didn't want to drive anymore I just kind of sat here with the AC blowing and just eating an unhealthy amount of sausage sandwiches that morning. Uh, and that's the whole show.
<laughs> How about this one right here? You want to get this one? I don't think I was mentally prepared to start talking about one? it with everybody Which that one? day and the younger two. Uh, they probably couldn't comprehend what had happened yet. You ready? Ah. And I think it's a little bit to do with the fact that we did feel a little foolish that we kind of did something in this non-event. Um, again, not that we were foolish people, but that we were fooled. For at least a month, I was just like preparing, waiting for something similar to occur. I didn't feel any safer because it wasn't true. We're not as safe as we think we are. <laughs> When all was said and done at the end of the day, this whole island was in party mode right afterwards. They were ready to live on and celebrate life because everyone thought this could ultimately be it. A lot of people got scared. Luckily for me, I was stuck through the whole thing. You have 20 minutes to live. What are you going to do? Everybody's going to die. We just don't know when. So why worry about it? Just enjoy what you have. Enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy what you love. And just be you. You do you, boo. That's all it is. If you just pan around, it'd be just like this. Everybody just is doing what they do.